Sorry, this is so chaotic. Ah, okay. Then I would not have made any money. Like a bit more control. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, everything's really good right now. So that's awesome. Hi friends, welcome to another video. If you're new around here, my name is Hannah. I just wanna say a big warm welcome. I'm an illustrator and I've been running this small stationary business part-time for about a year and a half now. I do a lot of like markets in person in my city and I've been selling on Etsy and recently opened up my very own website for selling things. I decided to start this YouTube channel a few months ago. Actually, I think it's been since November, so that's quite a few months now. Anyways, um, I started this YouTube channel to kind of document my process and share what it's like to run a small business and just connect with you guys on a different level. So welcome, thank you again for being here. For this week's video, I actually already recorded an intro. Um, <laughs> it just, the quality was really, really bad. Like I'm struggling right now with quality because I don't have a proper camera. And that is something that I'm planning on upgrading very, very soon. But it was just this intro that I filmed was just like a whole different level of not being good enough. Um, I might cut to it just in a second here because I do talk about like what goes on in this video a little bit and what I'm planning on doing. But essentially I have a one day market at this really cute coffee shop that's downtown. And it was a very cheap payment for the one day, which I love because the goal for them, the organizers and the coffee shop is to just kind of help small businesses out and also help their own customers out. It's kind of a win-win situation. People come in for the market, then they buy a coffee or if people go in for coffee and they see the market. We're all just like, you know, thriving in the small business community. Just, yeah. So very excited for this market. Um, it's my first time doing it and it's also very small because of its location and the situation. So I think there's only 10 people. Yeah, there's only about 10 other vendors or 10 including me. So I'm gonna kind of jump ahead to the footage, take you through the prep that I was getting done um, that I've already filmed and the market footage as well. It is a bit of a shorter video this week just because there's been so much going on it is really hard <laughs> to consistently be filming for my part-time business, which takes up a lot of time. Um, I'm also a 3D artist, so that's my full-time job. And I do that eight hours every day as well as doing all this. Not to mention I teach piano part-time and just all the other things that come with being a human being and you know, social life and responsibilities and stuff. So it is it has been really hard lately. Um, I was also under the weather a little bit, so I apologize, it's a bit of a shorter video, but I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna take you along with me to this market and to get some prep done. And once again, thank you so much for being here. Please stick around if you like this kind of content. It means so much to me to have your comments, your likes, your subscriptions, the, the support that I get from you guys here on YouTube, even though it's a small number, every single one still means a lot to me. So thank you for being here, let's get into it got to do specifically today is I've got to cut all of the notepads or the memo pads that I make. So I make them all myself. So that I design them here, I print them off and then I cut them. I have this like industrial size guillotine slash paper cutter that I use to do that. And I've been putting it off for a few days now because I've just been printing them all out, but I haven't cut them because I get so nervous when I use this cutter. It's just so big. And if I make a mistake, I'm cutting through like a bunch of pages and I don't want it to go to waste so I'm really nervous but I think it's gonna be fine I let me show you the huge stack of papers that I have right now this is the huge stack of papers um, and then I'm also printing off some more I've got like my weekly planners got some meal prep stuff um, I've got like all my little like lists oh that's embarrassing. But yeah, anyways, so this is the cutter and I have to go through and slice all that paper. Obviously I'm gonna do it little by little, but it's still slightly intimidating. Um, I just have to get to it and stop putting it off because it needs to be done. And then I can also see more accurately like what my inventory is for these markets and then I can get ready for them. So that's what we're gonna do and let's hope that it goes well. Okay, let's go. Talking my, I've been working all year, getting by. Looking for the high, taking all my time. Breathing in no life, feeling, feeling fine. Like I don't gotta be something society wants me to strive to be. Got my own energy, energy. So magnetic in the spotlight. Shaping my own world with my own mind. Don't talk, don't talk about me unless you are. Right. You won't see I'm finna. 
the roof, we protecting my energy. Gotta protect my mind. I'm breathing in new life. It's time that I realize what feels good ain't always right. Making changes, I got me a new stress. No more settling, I'm running out of good luck. Never chasing, I attract, I'm busy going up. If you see me, come correct and keep it on the book. Hi guys, once again, I know the printer is going, it's very loud, my cat is meowing, also very loud. <laughs> I'm gonna try and talk a bit louder, hopefully you can still hear me. I got this thing off of Amazon for my little camera setup, because I, I don't really have a camera, I'm just using my phone and my tablet with my like recording, so I, I know that my content is not the best quality. Don't worry, you don't have to tell me. I You don't have to tell me, I know, I know, okay? Um, and I apologize for that, I'm still figuring it out. But one thing that I did buy, because I thought sometimes you know it gets really dark and I normally film in the evenings here because I work my day job during the day, I thought, uh, why don't I get like a little extra light for my camera? Um, I don't really know how to set it up, so that's what I'm gonna kind of figure out right now. Let's, oh, I also got a tripod too for like filming at events. Oh my gosh, okay, I have so much stuff in this drawer. <laughs> okay, I have to, I had to plug it in because, hold on, I have to kind of reposition. <laughs> this is a little bit, sorry, this is so chaotic. Ah, okay. Um, it's plugged in, the little light. <laughs> It's barely on screen. There it is. Okay, it's literally plugged in. This is as far as I can bring it. But um, it came with like a clip as well. So I think I can figure out how to like clip this so that it's right above this the camera and then it'll be like shining on me. But let's just turn it on. So this is just now a little bit of afternoon overcast natural light, which to be honest, it's kind of good right now. But let's see what happens when I turn this. Wait, can I turn this on? Okay, cool. Yeah, it adds like an extra oomph. It's good. What do you think? Do you think this is good? It's not. E I'm not even holding it where I should be holding it. It should be kind of behind the camera for proper lighting, I think. Like I'm holding, literally, look, I'm holding it right in my eyes. Um, it's pretty bright, actually. Oh, shoot. It's unplugged. Wait. <laughs> okay, so let's pretend that it's like right here. Okay, what do you think? Hi, feel so like, rejuvenated. Um, that's the brightest setting. Let's turn it off to a little bit lower. Okay, so yeah, that's a bit lower. You can't really tell, but still like a bit more control. <gasps> Ooh, you can change. Sorry, I just blinded you, I'm so sorry. Um, it can change obviously like most, most uh, camera lights can change from like warm to cool light, so. It's just changing and then let's turn it up. Okay, and there's like a nice warm light. Okay, sorry this was so chaotic, but I think this is pretty cool. This was only like, I wanna say it was like $30, maybe less than that on Amazon, maybe 20. Um, I just need to figure out how to attach it to, okay, I keep blinding myself. Um, yeah, I need to figure out how to attach it to this so that I can just then clip it on and stop holding it like a freaking weirdo. Um, but that's that. That's exciting. Hopefully that elevates my content from here on. Let me know if you see a difference and if you think it's worth the effort. Uh, here's a little pad update. We've got all of these buddies glued right now. They've been cut. Um, they can probably be unclipped actually. They've been drying for a while, but I usually go through with another layer of glue. So I gotta do that. And then I do have 
some more stuff printing out right now and a couple more to cut through today. So looking pretty good. Honestly, I'm feeling super, wait, no, my bangs. I gotta fix my bangs. I, I keep noticing how like rambunctious my bangs are. Okay. Honestly, I'm feeling prim. <laughs> Hi. I just wanted to say, honestly, I am feeling super good for this market. It's only one day and I've got lots of stock. I'm very, very much ready. <sighs> yeah, I'm very, very much ready. So I'm feeling good. I don't feel stressed. I'm actually, yeah, everything's really good right now. So that's awesome. It's like a positive day. It's good. I feel like the last couple of videos I felt really weird about because I was, I don't think I was stressed. I think I was just sick and now I'm not sick anymore. So I feel a lot better. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, it's market day. I haven't really done any talking about it, but I just pulled up in front of the venue. It's at a cute little cafe downtown. So I'm really excited. It's kind of like a women's themed event. So yeah, I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, someone's driving by. So awkward, they're staring at me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I kind of got the last parking spot here on the street. So I'm hoping I don't get a ticket because I'm kind of poking out the end. Oh my gosh, so awkward. The snow plow is like staring at me. Uh, I'm gonna go to the market. Okay, so here we are again. <laughs> like I said, that was not a lot of footage, but I think you could kind of get the feel for what the market was like. Hopefully you did. It was such a cute venue. Honestly, I love that coffee shop so much. Um, I'm definitely gonna be going back there more. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. They have such a cute vibe. And that whole upstairs section, I didn't really film anything up there, but they've got like a whole like section up there as well where it's kind of more chill and relaxed, like a more of a study session area. So I think it'd be fun to go there and like work on some art or just like even just chill. Like I think it was super cute. And honestly, um, I do want to just say as well, like the organizers were so, so nice, even though it was not very busy at all. Um, the t low table fee definitely helped the situation. And the organizers, again, were like constantly checking in, chatting. Um, just the conversations were so great with everybody and like all the other business owners there as well who were selling stuff. Like 
I know it's hard when it's slow and people can get kind of negative sometimes. I, even I get like that, like a little disappointed, a little upset, but everyone was just, you know, still in good spirits. We were all kind of joking around with each other, chatting. I had some good conversations and good connections with people. And you know what? We still made sales. So it wasn't the worst day of my life. And it was just one day, like a short day too. So it's kind of nice to do a market like that where it's just one day and you're kind of in and out and then you're good. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, let's get into the numbers of it all because I have my little numbers book. This is where I'm like documenting what I've been making at markets. Wait, is this the right one? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I've got two like, um, I've got this one and a green one that I'm like, using this year solely for my business to like keep track of like different things. This one, I got the right one. The other one's more for like spending finances, but this is specifically markets. Not that, the, not that you care. Like I know that's information that doesn't matter. Anyways, the information that you do care about is the amount that I made. Like I already said earlier, I paid $40 for this table. It was on a Sunday and it was only a six hour day. And the setup time was really quick as well. Um, now the table was a four foot table, which is like the smallest table I think I've ever had at a market before. Usually they're like six feet or eight feet. Um, I have heard of some, like some markets using a five foot table. I've never actually used one before, um, let alone a four foot table. But the reason it was so small was it was actually like two of their um, like coffee table, like tables in the coffee shop that they just like pushed together. <laughs> so they made it into a like four foot table. And you know what? I actually ended up, like you saw in the footage, hopefully you liked my setup. I feel like I did a pretty good job like building it up for such a small space. So at all, it kind of worked out and it like fit in nice with the venue. Um, so yeah, $40 for that. And I ended up making gross sales $234. Um, now this is in Canadian dollars. So if we take away the table fee, I made kind of just under $200 without counting the hours of me sitting there and the prep hours and then all the other costs that go along with it. Like I bought a coffee. I think I only bought one coffee. I bought one coffee, my mom came and she bought me another coffee. <laughs> There's always like these other little expenses that I like to consider when I think about the amount that I made. Like it's easy to just be like, okay, I made $200, yay. But like realistically, when you're running a small business, you do have to consider like, okay, all these other small little expenditures that count towards, you know, the entire profit. Like me, like did I, I probably made like 150 after like, well, even that's probably wrong. I don't think I made that much because of all the time that it took for me to sit there. If I was getting paid minimum out, minimum wage for just sitting there for six hours, then I would not have made any money. So like, it's kind of scary to think of that because or sad to think of that because it's like, well, I didn't make anything at all. But nevertheless, like I said, it was a small market. It was not very busy. I'm gonna just take it as a win because I don't wanna focus on negatives. This year I'm trying really hard to stay positive when it comes to my markets. Yeah, I just, I, I, love, I love markets and I want to continue to love them. So I just wanna continue to see the positives in them. And hopefully, you know, down the road this year, there will be some really successful ones because I've only done like, have I done four now? I think I've done four. So really that's not that many for, you know, where we are in the year and the summer is coming and those are going to be really good i'm hoping um but yeah anyways so speaking of markets that are coming up i think i mentioned it in this video maybe not i'm not sure because my editing i'm still editing this video like it's going to be kind of all over the place hope i don't know i don't know if i mentioned already in this video but i have two big markets coming up in fact i'm prepping for it like right now <laughs> um i've got a really good one that like generally like a good amount of people show up to it. So I usually make a decent amount. And then I've got a three day trade show that's happening the following weekend. So that's my first time doing a three day market. Also my first time doing a trade show. And I feel like tons of people are gonna show up. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm also excited and I'm very hopeful that I will do really well. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in sticking around to seeing those videos, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss the next market vlog or studio vlog I put out. And yeah, that's it for today. So I just wanna say thank you again for hanging out with me today and for coming along to the market with me. I hope you're all doing well and that you have a wonderful rest of your day and that I will see you in the next video. Bye.